if they've got walls, it means the only way I can go get them is through the gates. And the gates pour oil. So I'd like to probably go over the top instead. So I'm gonna build siege equipment for this turn. None will escape. Good job I pressed the right button this time. How can I be of assistance? And I'm gonna get eyes on somewhere else in Rome. Treading softly. There is more I can. A general on his own. Triaria. My skills are yours. What if I military sabotage? I will see it done. Bet she fails. Oh, worked. Good. I'm so um I be of assistance? negative, but oh well. She sabotaged the army. They'll struggle to get recruits and all that stuff now. Good. Good, good, good. Let's end turn and then let's start the invasion. Properly. Actually take the settlement and go. Sounds like they're sending an invasion fleet to my right. Doesn't matter if they do. I've got good garrisons. You can't really get better garrison than actual Spartans, so... <laughs> and I've got reinforcement armies in very... sort of... I wouldn't say they're in very close proximity, but they're quite close proximity to them. Come on. What if I'd have marched my army straight up to Rome and just said, Oi, this is mine now, bastards. And then kicked them out. That would have been fun. Now, I like the fact that they've got millions of factions in this game, but end turn can't be more like Civ 5, where it's literally just a click of a button and it's zoop. Ooh, hiccups. I wonder what factions they'll be adding as well. And I wonder what mods they'll bring, allow. Hmm. All interesting. Are you kidding me? A general died again. What did I tell you? <laughs> right, these. Which one has highest stats? Plus five wealth from current culture buildings, plus one public order. Minus five morale for all enemy units. That's kind of... He actually scares the enemy, being there. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, plus five wealth from cult... Yeah, plus five wealth from culture buildings in the local province. And plus one public order. Wait, actually, I like the fact that he scares... This guy scares people. Yeah, minus five morale for all enemy units. Plus one zeal means movement speed as well. Movement range. Gonna go with this guy. Wait, what was that political... Con consequence, they failed to assassinate him, but he was wounded. Okay. For death and honor. Wait a minute. Did I actually call one the soul of Leonidas? It should have. Yes. Commander. It's a good name. Population surplus again. In Illyria this time. Good. Can we build any new buildings? Aha. Okay, what I want to, what do I want to build here? I'm going to expand it and let's have a look then. Love the graphics, so cool. Hmm, muster field could go with one of them. Plus five unit morale upon recruitment. Or we could go with industrial buildings.
Hmm. I'm not in a safe position yet where I can't have muster buildings at the minute. I'd like to just be able to focus on nothing else but building my money up. But if I don't defend my settlements, what good is it? Hmm. It's a tough one. What do I want here? Enables, provides a garrison. Quite a good garrison, actually. Hmm. Do I want it to be a military hub? That's the thing. Consecrated grounds. I could do that. I'm going to go with the muster field. Yeah, muster field. Because I want it to be a sort of stronghold for me. And now I'm just going to save just in case it crashes because it's happened before. All right. For glory and honor! Let them cower like kennel dogs! Good. I could auto resolve it, but we want to see these Spartans do some damage to the Romans. Romans versus Spartans. How awesome. Looks like they've got a great big mountain behind them. Oh, it's around six o'clock, damn it. Right. Sorry for that minimizing bullshit. <laughs> Whoa. Why? I don't. Holy. Oh, I'm really far away, that's why. Okay. So that's the massive mountain we saw in the loading screen. And it minimized once again. Always around six o'clock. You long-term viewers will know that. Would have seen that before, I mean. Right, let's... I want to see these Perioikai pikemen, actually. So they got swords to start off with, and then you go pike balance. Wow, I bet they're pretty tough, actually. Let's get my cavalry over here and my little archers. Right. Have we got everyone over here? Yep. So I'm going to send this one to... Spartans! Okay. There we are. No, no. How weird it doesn't position like any other unit. By your command. Uh, then we'll send Spartan! this one to here, we'll send that one to here, and then we'll send this one to here. Okay, start battle. Spears ready. At your service. Stand ready, men. Stand ready. Attacks like this are Cut never easy. Down. Ready. Orders. I'm gonna go move these guys up and pepper them with my archers. Gonna send my general up for morale boost. And the cavalry are gonna sit on this hill waiting for the time to charge. Oh, and these perioikoi are gonna go probably to here because they're not the sort of units that you climb walls with. That's not the way I didn't think that that's the way they were going to bring it, but oh well. These are levies. My guys outrange them. Commander! Archers! Missile infantry at your command! 
This phalanx got close. How cool! Right. Okay, the the levies are getting taken out one by one. Good, good, good. It's coming along okay. They have lost a couple of units here though, but that's because of the tower, and we will secure that. This looks like it's one of their biggest cities, actually. Looking at the amount of capture points it's got. That mean quite a bit of money for me. And now let's get these levies to hold fire because they'll end up killing some of the Spartans if they get them in the back. Advance at speed! Sparta! Missile infantry! Stop now! Time for the Spartans to get into action. No, I told you to hold fire, you daft bastards. Archers! Understood! Hold now! What don't they There we go. Capture this gate quite quickly. Orders. Good. Archers. Right, I'm going to move these archers onto the walls. The battle is turning in our favour. Battle is always in our favour. Missiles ready and waiting. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm only a little bit awesome. Ready for orders. Right. Let's go to here. God. Good. So they're all on the walls. That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's get these guys to here then. Let's just watch these pikes move up. Here we go. And the double. Nine, nine. Ha! They're being stopped. They can't decide which way they're going. Half of these archers are getting shot because they're not. There we are, we're capturing the towel once and for all. Spartans. I should probably capture this tower as well, just to be sure. Siege is coming along hunky dory, and Spartans. these guys got off the wall for some reason. Not very good in without being in phalanx. Oh, they glitched. Why are they like this? We have captured a tower. They're not listening to my orders. Spear infantry, ready. As you command. There we go. Orders understood. Form the phalanx there now. There we are. Now that the archers are on the wall, our enemy have lost a victory point. All go to fire at mode. Will fire at will mode. I mean, oh, 
I lost a lot of Spartans there just because they wouldn't listen to my orders. These guys are going to get wrecked. By your command. Nope. Yep, maybe. I don't know what's going on here. It's Are wavering. Which man? Oh my word. Spartans! This is definitely why I wanted to rush the Romans right now. Orders. Orders. Fire on the enemy! Orders! Archers! Now! Yeah, that's because of Histati. Swords beat spears. Ready for orders. And probably because they won't listen to my orders, but. Archers! Defensive position! No. Nope. Why aren't. We await your command. It's really quite frustrating. There we go. On watch! Tell us. Ready! Wait a minute, what? Tell us. What are they doing all the way over here? What's that guy doing? I told them to get on the walls. How daft. Sparta! Stay with me. Spears ready. Form phalanx now. All right, the routing units are causing all this. Yeah, they're not keeping their formations at all. Hope they fix this. Clocks fix this. General! Advance the speed! Sparta! Quietly listening to my orders. Oh, that was awesome. Didn't even have to enter the city. It was a bit annoying that they weren't listening to me, but... That was a good battle, nonetheless, we won, it was awesome. Pretty painful to watch with the formations and not listening to my orders and such, but you can only do so much. We lost 150 men and killed 1,300. That was a pretty awesome victory. Some of the men ranked up as well. The archers did a lot of damage then. I need to watch out for those for starting. Waiting for all yeah. this. Awesome. Imperium has ranked up. Means I can get another army. Just what I need right now. Seriously. That's some good shit. <laughs> Can't convert to a Hellenistic city yet. I need to wait for the money to come in. What if I went for... It's an amphitheater. So, what's this? 6% research rate. I was going to switch it to that just because it's the only one that I can afford at the minute. Plus 4% research rate here as well. So that means if I built this Temple of Athena and this scroll building, the, the library, that will be a plus 10% research rate. I like that. Yeah, let's go with that then. Oh, I can't do both. Damn it. And that's because I can't afford it. These guys ranked up. Good to know. I want to go with the authority one again. Now I can raise an army anywhere in my empire that's needed. Commander. I can't recruit anything at the minute. So that's a bit annoying. I always thought that because they called it provincial or culture hijacking 
in Rome 2 that you were supposed to be able to adopt the units that that settlement is able to create. So I should... It would be cool to be able to recruit Hastati under the Romans, under the Spartans now that I own one of their major cities, but I guess you're not allowed to do that. So now that we've got Brundisium under our empire, that will mean a good chance to start take it's a good foothold in Italy and that's where we're going next we're gonna take the, all of it when we build up our money to a substantial point to be able to sustain another army I will build another army in Brundisium but at the minute I'm just gonna lock down Brundisium and defend for now uh, let's just hope they don't try to attack and I have to sally forth because that whole capture the flag nonsense happens. So let's expand this city or little town even and see what we can build. A homestead or consecrated grounds. Damn it, I chose the wrong time to expand that city. But let's just leave it there for now. So thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for joining me on this awesome adventure to build the Spartan Empire. I hope you enjoy the future episodes and if you like the video uh, yeah please hit the like buttons because it helps out tremendously and you probably heard this a million times off other YouTubers but it does help out a ton and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.